Hello, my name is Whip, and today in Minecraft, we are going to be talking about roofs. Behind me, we have a bunch of different roof designs, and I can't wait to show all these off to you guys. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about what we can do with them. For example, with roofs, we can really set the tone of an area, set what type of atmosphere we're working in inside of those. We can really use these things to create the shape of a skyline of whatever we're working on there. And it's kind of that main thing that you see when you're looking at a build in the distance. So it's something we want to put a little bit of effort into and make sure they look super freaking cool because obviously they are a little hard to work with. So with that, let's jump into a few ideas and see what we can do with this one. That being said, if you like roof designs and you want to raise them up, be sure to hit that like button down below. Haha, -ha, jokes. Anyways, today what we're going to be starting with here is the classic Minecraft roof with literally just as many stairs as you want coming up to one central focal point which you can just have a bunch of slabs along the top to make sure this whole thing is mob proof and actually has that nice finishing point up here if you use like a full block for example did something like that it's a little too up there so the slabs here are probably your best bet now a few different variations that we can use for these roof designs here for example is adding slabs to the bottom of every single one of these blocks so that it comes together a bit more smoothly and you have a bit more connected on those Alternatively, you can make it a bit thicker and bring in the good old stair blocks going all the way up throughout and do an upside down stair block right there in the middle. You'll see a few different designs of us using those throughout here and also some slabs or just nothing like that. So, so just different ways to make it work. Now combining a few different ways of doing this, bring in our stairs here, but instead of facing out towards the block like this, you can face them inward. So they're actually facing completely out like that instead of just directly over there creating that direct diagonal line. This way it can make it feel much, much more thicker, and adding a few trapdoors at the bottom can really mix things up on that one. Then going with a very similar style for this one, what we are looking at previously, this one is a bit more elongated, more of an A-frame shape here, almost working towards that complete A-frame. If we brought these all the way down to the ground, you'd have that full A-frame roof. Basically doing the same thing here, do stair, stair, and then a full block in between, working our way up to the top. I know these ones are still rather basic, but you can see us using the slabs up here. You could even do something like that if you wanted to add a little bit more depth into it. We'll be getting into a few more complex ones as we move throughout. Figured we'd start with the basics on these and just see what we can come up with. This one, for example, here is using only stair blocks on our end frame here like this and using some trap doors to help connect those up a bit further. And you can see that one adds a lot of extra details to it, which I think is really, really cool. This one here is very much emptied out and basic just without anything like that. You can see the bare bones version of that. Then coming back here into the end, you can see that more full version. So if we take a look right over the top of this one, bam, with nothing, and then bringing in the stairs, you get completely different feelings with those ones. And then additionally on this last one here, we did add some trapdoors out here. Now, while we are working through these, I did want to bring in a few tower roof designs because I feel like a lot of roof design videos all they really focus on is a lot of things like these that we're seeing over here, which is the casual roof designs for like a village house. I feel like one thing that really messes up the skylines that I absolutely love doing is including towers all over the place. So you can create some super simple designs like this one right here. We're basically on our corner. We have a slab and stepping down to another slab. So you create that little angular shape right there. Then here you go bring that slab back up, then a stair and then kind of repeat that going all the way around. And this one, it looks a bit complicated, but it's actually super easy. Basically what you do is three full blocks right there, stair, full block, stair, and then a stair on top of that full block, and then repeat that until you come up to a one central point and add some fences on top. It's super easy to do, really, really simple. And here's basically, that's like the three by three pushed out, so a five by five base. And then this is basically that three by three with only one block center into it. So you can skinny this one up a lot, basically using stair, slab, and then stair, and then bringing this up towards the center a bit more. Now this one I really like for colder environments because it's very pointy. <laughs> I call it the pointy roof. Basically you do stair, stair, full block, stair, and so you have this kind of fanning out at the base. So it smooths out a lot at the base and creates that bit of a curve. And then you bring that curve up here to a point and take it right back down using that same shape to the other side. You can mix it up here using a lot more of our stair blocks in there. So you can mix it up just a lot and make it look a lot more elongated and kind of smoothed out for everything there. You can thicken it up too, for example, make that top point look a lot more drastic and a lot taller and more grand. And then also here, you can just smooth it out using some half slabs to connect it all up. Not every roof design that you have to do has to have two points. You can always do like a lean-to style of roof where you just do stairs or half slabs or something working from one corner 
all the way up to the other, and then you have a very sharp drop off where you can add some giant, giant windows on this side of the roof, and maybe this side kind of tucks way back into a garden or something like that. So you could even bring the grass over the top of the roof if you wanted to, but this one is super simple, just stairs upward, downward, upward, downward, going all the way up the freaking thing. Another version of it back here is using some good old slab blocks. You can just use slabs stretching up throughout this and it creates a very smooth one. You can also make this two blocks thick like we'll be touching on here in a little bit further. And so you can avoid those little hidden spots right there, there. I don't mind those ones too much, but if that's something that you really want to avoid, just make everything here two blocks thick and then you'll be totally fine. It looks a bit thicker and so it's better for taller ones, but it still works out pretty well. This back one over here, I really like this, basically using a slab, then a stair, and stepping yourself up like that. It's about as smooth as we can get it. You could add as many as many slabs as you want in between this, and you can really, really elongate that curve and make it not too sharp and a very, very cool. Then back here, what I personally love doing the most in Minecraft is adding in diagonals. Diagonal buildings are one of my favorite things to make in the game, so I couldn't do this without adding in a few diagonal roof ideas. This one right here is the full strict 45 degree angular thing. I think this personally works best with using just slabs on the roof. So if you do slabs, basically stepping up one block at a time, basically what I like to do is find your focal point, find your point at the end here, and basically just step it down a half slab at a time until you re reach this base point. And then you just copy that going all the way down and all the way back on both sides and you pretty much finish that one up. This one here is a bit of a smoother angular build and this is probably the one I use the freaking most in my own worlds is basically coming back two blocks at a time. This one works best, I personally find, with stair blocks. You can basically do a stair block like this, and then you can take this one right here and turn it, and it fills up that gap. If you don't turn it, you'll open with that little air pocket right there, which you could come in here and add something like that if you wanted to, to mix it up and add some variation to this whole thing. But if you're going for an easy one, just add the stair. Now for the Minecraft classic roof of stairs just all the way around coming up to a pyramid point in the center. I love using these ones for like more ancient style housing, something that you'd find in like the ancient era, or if you're going for like a mesa build or something, I think these ones can work out really well. Then after that, we have the hat roof, as I kind of call it. This one fans out a lot at the base here. So you're basically doing your classic stair roof going all the way up to that center point. But instead of having that last stair block down here at the base, you add in some slabs. The way you can quickly add some extra detail to this thing is come back in here and right on the end of these blocks, add an upside down stair, and from this side it actually makes it look a heck of a lot more detailed. And here it actually helps you out as well. So that, I love doing that. I love using both styles of that one. I think it works out really well. This one I call a sort of a bowl roof. I like using this for more dwarven builds because I feel like dwarven builds are much more smoothed out and rounded across the top. So you basically do stair, 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 as many slabs as you want across the top and bring the same number of stairs back down the side. For example here, you can also do stair, stair, slab, and then do your slab roof or your full block roof at the top and bring that right back down the other side. Basically two different ways of doing the exact same thing and smooth them, smoothing them out here a bit better. Then back here, we have another version of that lean-to that's not really a full roof or anything like that, but you can add this moving up the edge of a structure and just having it hanging off the wall as much as you want here, basically bringing in some logs down at the base, using that too thick version of where we have the stair, upside down stair, and working its way up to the top, then you leave it a bit more open on the inside of this, so you can maybe add some rafters, add some storage hanging up there, and add some like hay bales or something off the side of a build. Now this is one I personally use all the time. I can I consider it more of a fortified roof than anything like that because here you can see we are bringing our stone face, the strong stone face up on the side of this one way, way higher than the roof. You don't always have to have your roof blocks overhanging like this, for example, over the entire thing. Like you can have parts of your roof where the stone comes up higher. So I personally love doing this and adding in some slabs or something like that across the top basically where you have that last full block that's where you can start your stairs bringing them all the way across here and it adds a much more grand feel for a castle especially if you start dotting things like that across the top i think those are really cool to add in this one here definitely is a lot more on the extreme side of what i consider to do like for a dwarven roof where it's very rounded and very bulky and bold and this one is basically an upside down stair so we don't have that clear clear just finish of the blocks going all the way into this thing i like to have that final little bit of it overhanging off to the edge then you do a full block full block, so two full blocks in there, and bring your stair, full block, half slab, and then full blocks across the top. Basically, this allows you to smooth that one out as much as you can while still keeping a very boxy shape to this. You could also come back in here pretty easily and just bring this stuff across the top of it, and it looks pretty good as well. 
it feels a lot more angular there so it might maybe maybe not for that one i think it works personally a lot better with that full block in here because i think it fits the shape a lot more but you could do either one if you wanted to fully mob proof it probably go for the stairs now another kind of weird version of that one i always think it's like a hairdo <laughs> i've used this one a few times i just think it's really funny basically doing that same pattern on the side but adding a trap door out here onto the edge and it helps kind of round things out a bit more, making it feel a lot more rounded and oval shaped than anything. Then bringing stair, a few slabs in here, then a stair and a slab on top. So you have that flattened out area, but with a bit of a spike in the middle, kind of like a hairdo or something like I mentioned. This one right here I wanted to add in because it's okay to take your roof designs and have them not be perfect. You don't have to have the same number of stairs coming up and the same number of stairs going down. Typically the general idea that I go with is try and finish them at the same height unless you're purposely taking it all the way down way further on one side to have a bunch of windows open kind of like we did with that single lean to style over there. And this one we basically have stairs coming all the way up to the top and slabs going down the same distance on the far side and that helps smooth things out a lot making it a lot of contrast and a lot of extra room on the interior for you to work with i think that's a really fun one then another fun one that i find myself constantly using in my city is the m shape or some sort of version of this where i love doing personally like if you take this maybe brought this one forward a block so you have a bit offset between the two of them i think they work out really really well it's adding a lot of depth to your build and then you can easily work on a slight angle if you really wanted to if you want to start working on angular builds basically i would recommend starting with these ones right here especially for angular roofs because it's not really an angular roof or an angular build you basically are just bringing it one block forward so if you had like three tiled up you do that there then you can have another one over here this one here is the good old butterfly roof i have not used this one quite yet inside of my own world because i think it's a bit too modern for what i normally go for but i think it's a really cool one that i would i would love to include in here i think it's a great selection that you can have inside of your own world there's it's a lot of easy ability to create this one basically the hard part is figuring out how you want to do the stone so from this side it's a bit easier to see it basically bring this up here at your lowest point make that three wide then everything else steps up two blocks at a time for however high you want to take it on either side and use those slabs to step that down half slab at a time and coming straight back up thank you for agreeing mr sheep as mentioned we have the good old a-frame roof this one is a very much a nordic design bringing the roof all the way down to the ground because that really helps with getting the snow off of the roof getting all of the moisture and wetness from the winters and everything off of your roof onto the ground so it doesn't collapse the structure that you're living in this is a great way that you can easily just build something up here and just make a really really simple build for the exterior of your house and totally detail out the front and back and everything like that this roof is really really great for that now for a lot of the roof designs that we looked at we looked at mostly all of them ending with a half slab on top between probably close to 30 of these roof designs I'd say probably 25 plus of them have a half slab on the top. So I wanted to introduce a few ideas that you can use to break beyond this. You can start with an upside down stair. Basically, this is where you'd want your your wall or your end of your roof to finish. Then you bring an upside down stair coming off of that even further. Then just do alternating stair blocks towards the back. And if you end up with an even number or odd number going down the distance, add a slab or a full block with a slab on top of it in the center there i personally like the slab but both of them can work obviously we have our plain old slab roof right there another one that i have recently fell in love with with my city building basically bringing in full blocks going all the way across the distance of it and then just bringing iron bars across the top one way you can easily mix this up is basically every three blocks come in here and add in a full block like this with a slab on top still keeps it spawn proof and it helps kind of break up that iron bar texture if you don't want it going consistent across the entire thing this one here is a bit more ornate and a bit more along that kind of nordic fantasy vibe a bit more of what i love to do here so basically the idea is that here you'd kind of have where your roof ends so this would be the end of your roof and then this kind of sticks off in the end bringing it really really far arching up into the sky then here you're basically doing slabs and a full floating half slab with a half slab on top of it so you get that little block right there that you can see through and it helps add a lot of extra character and detail to the top of the roof design makes them feel very very tall and grand but i think it's a good one to keep in mind before we get out of here too quickly i did want to jump over here into the survival world and quickly show you all a few other ways of using roof designs for example here inside of our desert inside of a desert it's very dry so you don't need those peaked roofs to get all the rain and all of the snow and everything to run off so typically inside of desert cities you will see a lot of flattened out roofs not a whole lot of pointy bits to the top of them 
So a few roof designs you can check out here is simply bringing slabs all the way around your roof and then doing some full blocks every few blocks, for example, like that one right down there below us right now. Alternatively, you can take this one and fancy it up a bit more and turn it into a bit of a porch or a balcony or something on top of the roof using upside down stairs to create a railing and adding a lot more life into here, adding like a pergola or an arbola or whatever they're called on top with a bunch of leaves, things like that create an outside seating area. Commonly inside of desert builds, you will see seating areas on top of the roofs as people want to get out of the sun after their work day and just chill on the top of the roof because it's flat. So you might as well use it in somewhere that you're living. Also other examples is they would love using small kind of dome roofs or creating a sort of like that mosque typical style roof that you're probably familiar with. So you can create small versions of those ones here like this one right here. So creating some points on the corners with that regular sandstone, bringing in some red sandstone here in the center to add some color contrast. And you can just smooth that out and round it out across the top. One last example here, because you know, you wanna get out of the sun as much as you possibly can. So you could use your default roof design. You've come up with here and add a sort of a contrast color. And in this case, I'm using red sandstone here because that's kind of the colors of my city is that sandstone and red sandstone -y colors mixed in here with a lot of blue highlights. And I like that contrast between the red and the blue going on. So we use that as a border going around this entire thing. You could use a type of wood or whatever else you want throughout here. Stepping it up here one more level to show how we can use a bunch of these roof designs together to create an absolutely amazing creation that I personally love so much. You can see this front red roofed building down here that we we're looking at where we use that dark oak border to it and then bringing in some red concrete in the middle to add that red highlight that I absolutely love going with on these roof designs. But you can see on the end here, we are using that super tall spiking up roof here with that full block in between every single one using that a frame with an a frame roof with a detailed roof bit here at the top, bringing in stairs and slabs and everything to make that feel a lot more detailed. Then here on the end on these bits to add in some extra window pieces, we are using that smaller design of the same exact thing to keep that same vibe, that same atmosphere to it, where it's still spiking up and kind of feeling taller than just that regular roof of having stairs going all the way up to that point we're adding that extra full block in there to make it a bit taller so you get that extra sense of detail then coming throughout here as this is a wetter region on the coast we do want to have those spiky roofs where the water can run off so inside of our towers inside of everything you can see all these different shapes and all that good stuff coming here together with all these different areas to it you can see some ways where we have the wooden roof outstretching over the end and here onto the left, you can see that we have that stone bit coming up to the top. One thing I love doing here on top of all of it is adding in that cobblestone structure with the dark oak fence and an iron bar on top that helps detail things out like crazy. And you can see all of these different patterns in here for how they're all working together. That is gonna have to do it for today's episode. However, I hope you all enjoyed taking a look at a bunch of these different roof designs around this area. Let me know what your favorite one was. If you all want to see another video on this, detailing out these roofs a bit more, detailing out everything else that we can use on these structures here to make some more complete houses and all that stuff, be sure to let me know that down in the comments below. Let me know all, all what you want to be seeing on these ones. Next type of guide, tutorial, series, stuff like this that you want to see coming through the channel as well. Be sure to let me know that down below. Anyways, thank you all so much for checking out today's video. Please hit that like button. If you did enjoy, it means a heck of a lot to me. Please hit that subscribe button if you are new. And I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>